Tom Pate, uh, Brentwood Farm. We've been farming in Brant County since uh, 1891. I guess I'm the uh, fourth generation. I've got a couple kids coming into the operation. They're the uh, fifth generation. As far as cover crops go, I, uh, I really believe that uh, they are benefit for the long term anyways, uh, keeping the soil in place. Cover crops are, are adding to the organic matter and I think over the years you want to build up your organic matter and uh, should be benefit as years go in. So uh, I'm in it for the long term, right? So it's just not a one year thing and if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean you have to quit. You just got to keep working at it anyway. So you got to look at it over the long term. At least that's what I think anyway. I'm Jake Monroe. I'm a soil management specialist for field crops with Omafra. I'm a Omafra representative with, with Brant County Soil and Crop, uh, among other counties within the Golden Horseshoe region. And I've had the pleasure of working with uh, local growers, particularly within Brant County, since I started with Omafra, uh, to do projects just like this. I've been a member of uh, Soils and Crops probably from day one when I first started farming. So uh, they've always had unique projects over the years. Believe it or not, there's a soil and crop project just over the hill that they did about 30, 40 years ago. And they uh, treed the stream that was going through there. It used to be uh, just a bare land and you worked up the ground to the, uh, to the stream edge, but now there's buffers on either side of the stream and there's trees and grass and whatnot. So that's probably been down there. I remember doing that project probably 30 years ago when I started. So we're here at a plot site that, uh, that we had in 2018, which was one site out of about 14 that we've had over the past four years looking at the question of spring management of cereal rye before soybeans. So at this site here with, with Tom, uh, we had two treatments. We sprayed the rye off early in one treatment and in the other treatment we waited right up until soybean planting before we, we sprayed that uh, cereal rye cover crop off. What we saw here is reflective uh, really of what we saw in the project as a whole, which was done over many counties in both southwestern Ontario as well as eastern Ontario, uh, which is that there was no yield impact, positive or negative, um, from delaying termination of rye and planting green into it. So we saw some benefits from the practice, which included increased cover crop growth, more biomass, which means a greater contribution to organic matter. Uh, we saw increased nitrogen scavenging, so the nit nitrogen in the soil being taken up by the rye. And in this case, actually, we had about six times more nitrogen in the rye that was left and planted into compared to the rye that was sprayed off early. So let's, let's talk about the trial that we did together in 2018. So we were looking at that question of, of planting green and, and either spraying up that, that rye a bit early, a couple weeks ahead of time, or planting the soybeans right into it. So, what are your impressions from that trial that we did together? What did you take out of it? That it works. So uh, yeah, we did the strip. Yeah, burned off half the field and had the other half planting green. So, but it, it worked anyways. And uh, there was more of a cover crop on the soil through the season. I think there's lots of benefits. So soybeans is really easy. You should be able to plant soybeans in the green, no problem at all. So at least in my mind. Well, if you're thinking the long game or you want to plant rye down and uh, build up cover crops. If you want to plant soybeans into it and you do it one year, just get started, stick with it and keep going.